Hi everyone and welcome back to uh, this series of electromechanical energy conversion uh, pro practice problems and this is our first question about induction motors and in this question we will cover basic quantities that used to uh, define the performance of the motor like the synchronous speed like the rotor speed and the frequency in the rotor and so on and so forth so let's start with the question. The question says we have a 50 kilowatt, 460 volt, 50 hertz, two pole induction motor. So this is usually the name plate information of the of the induction motor. And for every type of machine, we start the question by mentioning these name plate values. Now the motor has a slip. 5% when operating at full load. Now the slip is something that's changing, it's not constant. So we have to specify the condition at which we have this slip. It says that when operating a full load condition. Now at that condition, which is the full load, the friction and windage losses is 700 watt and the core loss is 600 watt. We want to find the following. First, the shaft speed, Nm, or sometimes it's called the rotor speed. So let's start with part A. Now, to find the shaft speed, we have first to find the synchronous speed, which is the speed of rotation of the magnetic field, which is constant in the induction motor. And this we call it in synchronous or sometimes we call it NS for short, is equal to 120 times the frequency, the electrical frequency, divided by the number of poles, and this is equal to 120. Frequency is 50 divided by 2, and this will give me 3,000 RPM. Now, I know in synchronous, now I can find my NM, which is basically nothing but 1 minus S, times ns, which is equal to 1 minus the 5% times the 3,000, and this will give me 2,850 RPM. So this is part A. Now in part B, it says the output power in watts, which is already given to you. This is the output power, the name plate. This is your P out in kilowatt or in watt is equal to 50 kilowatt. Part C, what is the load torque? Now, the torque is basically is equal to the power divided by omega. That is the general formula for the torque. Now, we have to know which torque we are looking for to specify which power that we are we should use. So here we want to find the load torque. Load torque, it means that the torque that is connected to the load, or basically it's related to the output power. So here your torque at the load is equal to the P out divided by the rotational speed of the rotor, which is omega m. So your torque at the load equal to P out, we already know it, which is the 50 kilowatt. 50 times 10 to power 3 divided by omega m is basically Nm, which is 2850, and multiply it with the conversion factor 2 pi over 60, and this will give me a total torque equal to 167.5 Newton meter. Now we go to part D. We want to find the induced torque. Now this is different than the output torque. The induced torque basically is the P convert, the converted power divided by again omega m. What is this converted power? The converted power is basically, this is the power that is converted from what we call the air gap power. What is air gap power? The air gap power actually is the power that comes from the PN. So we start with PN, and then we subtract from the PN. We will subtract the losses in the stator. You get the P gap, air gap. And then from the P air gap, subtract the losses in the rotor. 
you will get the B convert. Subtract from that the rotational losses, you get the B, the B out. And the next question will have a detailed question about, about this. So this is now I want to find what is the B convert, which is equal to the P out plus the B friction and windage losses plus the P core losses. Now this is 50 kilowatt. The friction and windage, it is 0.7. The core is 0.6. So we have total of 51.3 kilowatt. So from this, the induced torque will equal to 51.3 times 10 to power 3 divided by omega m, which is the same thing, 2850 times 2 pi over 60, and this will give me a total torque of 171.9 Newton meter. The last question is, is to find the rotor frequency. So I want to find the frequency in the rotor is equal to the slip times the frequency in the stator. So this is 0 0.05 times the frequency in the stator, which is 50 hertz. And this will give me 2.5 hertz.